There were two nations. This is the historical research. The empire is the British Empire. Indian summer, the secret history of the end of an empire. Every British empire of India is moving to the historical research. So the start on the book starting statement, in the beginning there were two nations. So Saritara Pati, Uri Kalatala, Uri Kalakatala, Irandu Nadu. What was a vast, mighty and magnificent empire? Brilliantly organized and culturally unified, which dominated a massive swath of the earth. Urumabirum Samaraji, Parandu Virin the Gadanda, Uru Mega Munneria, Munnetramana, Urunadu. Other than the one of the countries. The other, Iranda of the Nadu, other was underdeveloped, semi feudal realm, riven by religious factionalism, and barely able to feed its illiterate, diseased, and stinking masses. Yablo Mosama Discrepanam Dima, Andamara, poor country. Underdeveloped, religious factionalism, barely able to feed its illiterate, diseased, and stinking masses. So the first country, Yenananakrenge, second country, Yenananakrenge. The first country, Yablo Superior. So vast, Abla Munaria, Paranda within the Grand Sama. Adund India. The second country, underdeveloped, undeveloped, semi feudal realm, driven by religious factionalists and barely able to feed its illiterate. The first nation was India, the second nation was England. The year was 1577, the year was And the, the year was 1577, and the Mughal emperors were in the process of unifying India. The domain spread 1200 miles along the Tropic of Cancer, from Rana of Kutch to the uh, and Arabian Sea to the burdened delta of the holy river of Ganges in Bengal, etc., etc. The hundred million people who lived under its edges were cosmopolitan and affluent. In 1577, the average Indian president enjoyed a relatively higher income and lower taxation than his descendants ever would again. So, Ulantaliya and the Vilsaigal and the Diyadana and the Vilsaigal on the Ella Vagina Superior. In the bazaars were sold gold from Jaipur, rubies from Burma, fine shawls from Kashmir, spices from the islands, opium from Bengal, and dancing girls from Africa. So, on the Indian art, and the Nagaran Gilda, Apollo, Punnu, Mani, all of the The empire was ruled by the world's most powerful man, Akbar the Great, and so on. Adu on the India. On the England, like the in England, at the same time, 1577, like, in England, meanwhile, most of the population of around two and a half million lived in a state of misery and impo impoverishment. Politically and religiously, the country had spent much, much of the 16th century at war with itself. Around 90% of the population lived in rural areas and worked on land, going hungry, during the frequent, frequent food shortages. They were prevented from moving into industry by the protectionist racket of guild entry fees. Begging was common, and the nation's 10,000 vagabonds were the terror of the land. So, Uriya Thirittigad, Kolai, Kolai, Kolai. The low standard of living endured by much of the population the squalid conditions in towns and suit epidemics of disease were common, cholera, plague, along the London Nagara Adikurika, and the plague now it was affected and so on. That was the vast majority of the English people were illiterate, superstitious, and so on and so forth. 
ஸோ நம்ப முடிகிறது ஆயிரத்தி ஐநூற்றி எழுபத்தி ஏழு இப்படி இருந்த இந்த இரண்டு நாட்கள் ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி எழுபத்தஞ்சு சரியாக த்ரீ ஹண்ட்ரட் இயர்ஸ் இல்லா தி எட்வர்ட் செவன் த ஃபியூச்சர் கிங் ஆஃப் ஃபியூச்சர் எம்பரர் ஆஃப் பிரிட்டிஷ் எம்பயர் கேம் டு டெல்லி ரெப்ரசென்டிங் குயின் எலிசபெத் அண்ட் அந்த டெல்லி தர்பாரில் குயின் எலி எலிசபெத் சார்பாக இந்தியாவின் பேரரசியாக முடிசூடி கொண்டார் ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி எழுபத்தி அஞ்சு ஆயிரத்தி எண்ணூத்தி எழுபத்தி ஏழுனா முந்நூறு ஆண்டுகள் முடிய போயிட்டு இந்த முந்நூறு ஆண்டுகளில் மாபெரும் மாற்றம் ஏற்பட்டு ஏற்பட்டு விட்டது இந்தியா வந்து பிகம் ஸ்லேவ் கண்ட்ரி ஆஃப் த பிரிட்டிஷ் சென்ட் ஆயிரத்தி ஐநூத்தி எழுபத்தி ஏழுல அவ்வளவு பின்தங்கி இருந்த அந்த பிரிட்டிஷ் அந்த இங்கிலாந்து கண்ட்ரி வந்து பிரிட்டிஷ் சாம்ராஜ்யமாக மாறிவிட்டது இந்த முந்நூறு ஆண்டுகளில் என்ன மாற்றம் ஏற்பட்டது யூனோ யூரோப் லைஃப் இன் யூரோப் சோ டிஃபிகல்ட் ஆறு மாதம் வந்து கடும் குளிர் மூன்று நான்கு மாதங்கள் த்ரூ அவுட் இட்ஸ் கவர்ட் பை ஸ்னோ ஹீட் அவங்களுக்கு வந்து எல்லாத்துக்குமே தே நீட் அ ஹீட் வீட்டுக்குள்ள கடும் குளிர் தே கனாட் குரோ ஃபுட் கையை கூட கழுவ முடியாது என்ன ஒரு காலகட்டத்தில் சிந்திச்சு சிந்தித்து they understood what heat is about thermodynamics thermo na web from heat dynamics how it evolves science started developing scientific revolution industrial revolution consequent industrial revolution okay. you know james watt stevenson james watt and apna understood power of steam steam engine was developed train transport was developed once steam engine was fitted into ships they could make long voyages safely and gunpowder development in chemistry gunpowder was invented and when it was fitted into guns due to industrial revolution and these guns were fitted into ships they could travel long distances they could conquer they could conquer the great country india at no point of time no more than 2000 british soldiers were on the indian soil end the kala gattathilume 2000 british soldiers mela india la irundadilla ana they became superior in science so they could conquer this great country subcontinent that is <coughs> british england is a very small country in map la third kandu pidikkom the small country can could travel such long distances and successfully conquer india and they could go even further and the other countries along they followed and east india i mean malaya singapore all of it the whole of asia they could conquer in fact they could conquer the whole world and they became super power so that means economy is closely intimately related to science scientific knowledge and then technical knowledge science becomes uh, technology and then you become the super power so things are uh, now so now history repeats itself things are changing again in fine india and china 
In 1500 and 1600, India and China were supposed to be superpowers. Now, as I said, history is repeating itself. Again, China and India are turning out to be fastly, two of the fastest developing economies in the world. If they have to sustain this uh, development, they have to become superior in science. So you need a very strong scientific workforce. China had already realized this. And for this, they are spending enormous amount of money to develop their young, uh, young people to pursue science. And the Naraya institutes, universities, research institutes, etc. they are building. Science policy planners of this country have also realized this. And as a consequence of this, indeed, this program has been envisaged. So that young people, bright young people like you, can also pursue a career of science. And so that in future, Varungalangalai, India won the scientific superpower Aga Marala. Other Kaga, Ningande, Mata area, technology, engineering, Lada, opportunities in the Naka and the Lai. Then not only at this level, but every level, uh, university level, other uh, research, other commercial positions, etc. Uh, the government tries to help young people to have appropriate opportunities. Other Kalatan, the Mabaram, the Inspire, Pondra, Palatitangal have been designed by the government of India and other agencies. And this is a very rare opportunity. It's a very unique opportunity for young people like you. You should all grab these opportunities and fully utilize and so that you can become great scientists in the years to come by. I'm going to give a technical talk after a break. So I will talk about these things in more details in that time. So with these uh, uh, few words, I would like to thank the organizers of this meeting and the management of this uh, college for giving me an opportunity to participate in this inaugural function. And I'm extremely happy to inaugurate this um, five-day uh, internship time. Thank you very much. <laughs> The title of my talk is World View of Physicists. ERPL Arinjarin Parvayil in the Uladam. Adingre, for Puduana Talipla, I would like to discuss about what is the content of this subject physics. Arinjarin, ERPL and Ralinma. Yadai Patri for the year three and Arin Yaranova, Arin the Buddha, Terin the Buddha, Purin the Buddha, So, what is the scope of this subject of physics? The idea of this lecture is not to give a technical talk, but rather an overview. You will I would like to give you some ideas. So that's my main motivation. Kalala Sanamara and the Kurum and the short film Lala Sanamara. 
inspire my innovation in science that should probably inspire the such. I think we will add a chip thirty or a good amount of energy. And then the moon components and the first round the scheme for undertaking. By rubbing shoulders with global icons of science and so on. Okay. Talented youth like you. You are talented youth because you are the first 70 months to me. You are 10 standard exam. You are the first standard exam. Talented youth uh, to motivate them to take the research. Arachi, Arigigal Arachi. வரும் காலத்தில் ஒரு அவங்களோட பர்சனல் கரியர் எடுத்துக்கிறதுக்காக உலகளாக உலகளாகிய அறிவியல் உறுப்பினர்களுடன் கலந்து அவங்களோட டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணிவேட்டட்ரியன் Catalyzing experience. Catalysis is not enough. It's a chemical substance which helps to speed up the chemical reaction but itself doesn't undergo any change. Yeah. Kriya Ukin Tamil Sulaan Manikara. Where is it? Where is it? It's a Tamil medium. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tamil medium is a Tamil medium. எந்த தாழ்வு மனப்பு அங்கும் தேவையில்லை நாங்களும் எல்லாருமே தமிழ் மீடியத்தில் படித்த மாணவர்கள் தான் கவர்மெண்ட் ஸ்கூல்ல படிச்சிருக்கேன் ஒரு லெவலுக்கு மேல போனா தமிழ் மீடியத்தில் படித்தாலும் சரி ஆங்கில மீடியத்தில் படித்தாலும் சரி எந்த வேறுபாடும் இல்லை இன்ற காலகட்டத்தில் உலகளாவிய ஆங்கிலம் தான் இன்றைய காலகட்டத்தில் ஒரு முக்கியமான ஒரு லாங்குவேஜ் ஆஃப் கம்யூனிகேஷன் இருக்கு அதனால எல்லாருமே ஆங்கிலத்தில் புலமையை வளர்த்துக் கொள்வது மிக முக்கியம் பட் At present, it's not very difficult. You can do it with your own efforts. For example, if you use the internet or Google, there are many possibilities. If you use your language skill and development, there are many opportunities. It's not a big issue. Anyway, it aims to provide a lifelong catalyzing experience. So, in the experts who give lectures, who helps you in this instance, can will act as catalysis. Catalyzing experience for the 11th standard science team of students. So it's not in the first component. The second one is also known as SHE, Scholarship for Higher Education. To pursue the plus two or more, BSc, MSc, Lombardi, and the other one is 80,000 rupees per annum. After MSc, we will get to know அந்த ஏஓ ஆசின் சொன்னே அஷூர் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் ஃபார் ரிசர்ச் கேரியர்ஸ் நம்ம வந்து பிஹெச்டி பண்றதுக்காக இன்ஸ்பயர் ரிசர்ச் ஃபெலோஷிப் 20000 ரூபீஸ் per month for 5 years அப்புறம் அந்த இன்ஸ்பயர் ஃபேக்கல்டி ஸ்கீம் அஸ் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபசர்ஸ் அண்ட் சோ ஆன் ஓகே நீ எல்லாமே யூ ஹேவ் டு யூ ஹேவ் டு டு வெரி வெல் ஓகே சோ யூ ஹேவ் இன்ட்ரஸ்ட் ஐ அம் நாட் சேயிங் தட் சயின்ஸ் இஸ் தி ஒன்லி Great thing. Okay. 
உங்களுக்கு அறிவியலில் ஆர்வம் இருந்து அதை நீங்க படிக்க விரும்பினால் உங்களுக்கு நிறைய ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் இருக்கு எல்லாமே இம்பார்ட்டன் தான் சார் இன்ஜினியரிங் மெடிசின் ஆர்ட்ஸ் லாங்குவேஜ் லிங்விஸ்டிக்ஸ் ஈவன் காமர்ஸ் டூரிசம் ஹிஸ்டரி எல்லாமே இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் பட் உங்களுக்கு அதுல இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருந்தா அது போங்க பட் சயின்ஸ்ல இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருந்தா தேர் லாட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் அண்ட் இட்ஸ் ஓப்பன் டு யூ the best ones will always get all this kind of opportunities so this is the other in the more details learn na enga kadakum just google you know i think most of you are familiar with using internet like in chennai india college la ungalku opportunities kudupanga so you go you just type dst inspire adu nechinna la ungalku ella information kadakum the opportunities for doing science in india are abroad and you can get a lot of information so you don't have to get any information in your own time you can get a lot of information you can get a lot of information but now you can get a lot of information so I come to my talk where is your physicist அறிவியல் இயற்பியல் அறிஞரின் பார்வையில் இந்த உலகம் அறிவியல் so i want to point out science is challenging okay scientific thinking 